here at Fenway Park. Welcome, everybody. Hi again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Boyd Kuyper, and it's another great night for baseball. Partner, are you ready for this one? I sure am, Kai. This is going to be a great matchup. Looking forward to a good game, and we're set to go. Starting for the home team, Bronson Arroyo. This matchup features the San Jose Giants and the Salem Avalanche. And be sure to join us for our upcoming seat cushion night. Brought to you by the people at Lee's Leisure Lair. If it's comfortable, set the And we're underway. He's got a handful of pitches to choose from. Arroyo misses again. The count is 2-0. and oh. The groundskeepers have arranged a parallel mow pattern today. Caught him looking. Hitters count three and one. Bad idea right there. Trying to get the batter to chase, and now he's further behind the count. Take base. He takes his base. Kind of pitch tried to fool him. Batter didn't go for it, and he winds up walking. Edmonds is next up. This guy can flat out hit. The runner's moving. He steals second. Oh, partner, that guy had a huge lead over there. The pitcher fell asleep and forgot all about him. Arroyo throws a fastball strike. Didn't find the plate for a ball. He can make a hitter look silly with that big old curveball of his. Two balls, two strikes. Three and two. Kipe watched for the runner to advance only to third on a hit to center. The center fielder has really got a super long. Takes the walk. Hey, meet! Make him earn it! Killing me! On the ground to third. He goes into second hard. They got a pair. Five, four, three on the play. Flawless execution right there on the double play. Strike call. This guy can struggle with his control at times and is known to give up a few walks. Arroyo delivers strike two. Got him. Here's the manager's lineup. strike and it's 0-1. He's got a handful of pitches to choose from. One ball and one strike. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. What a catch. That's a great example of how good this guy is in the field. He can really go get it. He painted the black on the inside edge. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner, and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. Caught by the third baseman. Two outs and nobody on. And a first pitch strike. They appeal to the first base on. A three-pitch strikeout. After one inning, the game is scoreless. Now, playing the first baseman. There aren't many left-handed batters who are better than this guy at hitting right-handed pitchers. And he's out. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes him just a pretty special hitter. He has this one lined up in center field. The catch is made by the center fielder. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Get to the throw. Three down. 
Hit to the right. He's got it. What a tremendous diving play. It's a 1-2-3 inning. Heading into the bottom of the second. No score here. Stepping in, Carlos Pena. Hit towards the shortstop. One out. When this righty comes to the plate, he puts on a clinic every time. Put that fastball where the catcher called for it, and the batter was overmatched. Lights out, see ya. That one's headed for the stands, and it's out of here! For the second that ball comes off the bat, everybody knew it was out of yard. That was a shot. Fly ball hit deep to center field. He's headed to second. Not in time. Okay, nobody's got a set of wheels like this guy. He made that double or the triple like nothing. Next at the plate, J.D. Drew. There's a strike and a changeup. No balls in one strike. His number one pitch is his fastball. Grounded foul. A three-pitch strikeout. Nice job there to keep the guy off balance. That's good pitching. Against left-handed pitching, this guy's pretty solid. He can't get the 95-mile-an-hour heater over. Two balls, no strikes. This is one imposing figure out there on the hill. He looks 10 feet tall. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. A four-pitch walk. Well, I thought he was nibbling too much, and the umpire wasn't giving him a whole lot either. The next batter is Victor Martinez. This dude swings one of the best sticks around. Shortstop makes the catch. After two innings, the Avalanche lead by one. Next up, Marco Scudero. Hey, partner, this dude could fly. Infielders have to be on their toe and alert for the bunt. Hit towards the shortstop. There's an out. Up next, Jason Kendall. This batter pounds the ball off right-handed pitchers. Lifts one to right. Drew makes the catch for the out. He had a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes him just a pretty special hitter. Line drive, base hit. He's on with a two-out single. That ball was tattooed. It had base hit written all over it. Breaking ball that misses. If ever they're going to steal a bag, it's right now with this guy. He really knows how to steal a bag. Third out, we go to the bottom of the inning. After two and a half, the score is one to nothing. The top of the order is up next. The infield has to be on their toes when this guy digs in. In a fraction of a second, that's all he needs to beat out a throw. Just out of the fielder's reach. Good start to the inning. A leadoff single. Oh my, he just smokes that thing right and past the infield for a base hit. Like most righties, he loves face. This one's got a chance, and it's caught at the wall. He ran out of real estate there, but luckily the ball ran out of juice, and he was able to make the catch at the wall. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes him just a pretty special hitter. 
and he puts it away for the out. The throw is to the cutoff man. Stepping in, Carlos Pena. This lefty over to first. 